So we're here in a field in Arizona, and what we're seeing here just in the Casa Grande Maricopa area is the canals that are built for flood irrigation. The thing we learned is that a lot of the irrigation doesn't come from aquifers, but in fact comes from a watershed that comes from three different areas. And so if you don't have the water rights, and the water rights are in a hierarchy that begin with the um, Indian reservations, and then you have the municipalities, and then you have residential industry, and lastly is agriculture. So what happens is, if you don't have the water rights, you don't have a field. This field here, and all the land is zero leveled. So the land here is zero leveled, so you can absolutely open it up and flood irrigate. The fields are about a quarter mile in length and about 35, 37 acres each. So on this side of the road, you don't have agriculture, and on that side of the road, you have agriculture, water rights, and you have a barley crop growing. That's the difference between um, water and no water. Here. Of course, the key to agriculture in the desert is irrigation, and uh, the canal system runs from the uh, watershed tables that come down from three areas in, in Arizona. We have canal irrigation going on here, and this has largely led to flood irrigation. So here we have the canals, and over here we have the fields. Now the thing about land tenure in the area is that most of the land is owned by investment companies, and so the farmers have rental agreements anywhere from three to five years. Land is uh, about uh, between four and six thousand dollars an acre in this area and they uh, still can only grow about one crop a year. They could grow two but they can't get enough water rights and so what we have over here is uh, this is a crop of cotton that was here last year and now they planted some melons and this is all flood irrigation so you can see up and down the field here that you've got the uh, well, it's just flat as a pancake, and the water just rolls down between the rows here. Again, this is not a very efficient form of irrigation. It's only about 20 to 30 percent efficient, but if you don't own the land, you can't put the money in. Interestingly enough, um, the uh, concept of subsurface uh, uh, drip irrigation was invented just in this area here, but it's capital intensive with a reasonable payback. But if you don't own the land, you're not going to invest in it. So that's one of the complications here in the desert. Ha! I did it! So it works. Well, that is that is flood irrigation. So uh, what they've got is the irrigation channel here, and then the hose is going down. This is a field of cotton. It takes four acre feet to grow the crop. And... Uh, Cotton has changed agriculture down here in the valley. This is a cash crop for these guys. Uh, just a little bit about the soil. Soil pH is 8 to 8.1, 8.2. Organic matter, of course, is below 1% uh, because they burn off the organic matter. They use a lot of nitrogen, as you would expect. Potash levels are pretty high. They, uh, they use a lot of zinc, a lot of boron. We saw manganese, and interestingly enough, a lot of iron. And uh, that's because the pH is very high, so you have iron deficiency in the soil. And down in the horizon there, those are weed pickers. That's just where I'm going to be working tomorrow.